Hello, Titch. Have you found that Peter and Mary yet? What's that? You heard them saying they were going to make a present for your mum's birthday, but they disappeared when you said you wanted to help? I wonder where they can be. Well, just look at that. They're in the garden. They could have told you they were in the garden, couldn't they, Titch? And look, they're making something. That's it, Titch. Go and tell them you'll help. Now, whatever are they making? Oh, I see. They're making a window box for your mum's birthday. That's nice. You could ask Peter if you could help him saw the wood. That's right, ask him. It's funny how Peter can't seem to hear you, Titch. In fact, it seems that neither of them can hear you, Titch. Go on, Titch, ask him again. Peter, Titch has come to help. Oh, apparently Peter doesn't want your help, Titch. Perhaps Mary does. Oh, she doesn't either. Even if you are good at hammering. Even if you're very good at hammering. Even if you're very, very good at hammering. But you'd like to have a go, wouldn't you, Titch? Goodness me, just listen to that. Mary should know you can't talk and hammer at the same time. Well, you could always help Peter carry that piece of wood. No, you're not going to help Peter carry that piece of wood. But you can carry that piece for him, see? It's not too heavy. Whoops! It seems Peter thinks it is very heavy. Still, you did manage to carry it on your own. You must be strong. And no, Mary, Peter is not practicing the Highland fling. And no, Peter, it's not Titch's bedtime. It's nowhere near his bedtime. Oh, Titch, it would be nice if they'd let you help them make your mum's birthday present, wouldn't it? Well, I don't believe it. Mary is going to let you help after all. She's going to let you hold the nails. What's that? Just to keep you quiet. They're the ones making all the noise. She's so impatient, that sister of yours. Just listen to her. Won't take her long to pick up a few nails. And you were only trying to help. But it seems the pair of them don't want any. And it's just as well they don't, because that sawdust needs sweeping up. That's it. Go and fetch your broom. Titch? Are you all right, Titch? You seem to be having trouble finding the broom. Oh, you've found it. Just look, Peter and Mary have finished making the window box. It will be a nice present for your mum. Well, at least you'll be helping when you sweep up the sawdust. Oh, Mary's going to sweep up the sawdust. Hmm. And since when has a broom been a dangerous weapon, Mary? And she thinks you should help Peter. No, Peter will not let you dig some earth for the window box. And he's definitely not letting you anywhere near the spade. Still, Titch, you could always use a trowel. There's the trowel, Titch, in the flower pot. 
And what's that you found? Oh, I see. It's going to be a surprise. Look at that. They didn't even let you put one plant in it. And now they're going to hide it until Mum's birthday. What's that, Titch? You're going to give your mum a plant too, and you're going to hide it away until your mum's birthday as well. Good lad. Well, it's your mum's birthday today, Titch. And look, Dad's putting the window box outside and Mum thinks the plants look lovely. What's that? You're going to give your mum a plant too? Are you sure you don't mean a plant pot? Mary and Peter think it must be a very small plant, Titch, because they can't even see it. Oh, I see. It's a seed. And you're planting it for your mum. She will be pleased. And she is. She thinks your present is lovely too. And your mum says your seed will grow. And I think it'll grow too. I told you that seed would grow, Titch. And grow. And grow. And grow. My brother and sister. 